Attending university or college, it is one of the first big financial commitments that many young people make in their life. In fact, most graduates owe an average of $30,000 in student loan debts. That's according to Stats Canada. It's a lot of money. And it can seem pretty daunting if you don't have a game plan to pay it back. Good thing financial expert Patty Lovett reed is on the show today to give us a rundown on everything you need to know about student loans. Patty, great to talk to you. Hi there. Great to talk. Can I just say right off the top, I used to go into high schools, graduating students going off to college and university. How many want a post-secondary education? The hand would go up. And then I would say, how are you paying for it? And they'd go, I'm not sure. Um, maybe my parents. Have you had the conversation? No. So I think this is a really important topic. Yeah, no kidding. And it's that back to school time of year, Patty. Those bills, they come up pretty quickly. So let's talk about student funding in Canada. How does yeah. this work and how much do you get in loans versus <laughs> grants? Oh, great question. You know what? That can really depend on the province or territory you're in. If I were to give you a ballpark, I would say it's about 60% federal, 40% provincial. But here's the thing. When you have a loan, you have to pay it back. If you're able to get a grant, a scholarship, a bursary, this is money. This is your money. And hundreds and thousands of dollars go unused because people self-eliminate. They say, oh, I'm not going to qualify for that or I don't have the grades or I don't have whatever. Go after every grant you can get. Yeah, go after every grant you can get going into university or post-secondary. And then while you're there as well, year after yes. year, if you can apply, make sure you do so. Now, in terms of loans, Patty, how does the government figure out how much money you'll even get? Ah, well, typically that can be, once again, it's very dependent on your province, your territory. Uh, it comes into play your family income. Uh, the fees for the program, the type of program, uh, and also maybe whether or not you have a disability. So uh, basically, Kelsey, it's not one size fits all. Uh, there's a lot of work getting, you know, the right amount for you, but it can be absolutely worth it in the long run. At what point, once you finish school or you've received the loan, do you need to start paying it back? <laughs> yes, there's all, it, nothing's free in this world. Yeah, so typically you start to pay back um, six months after you graduated. It can typically take 10 to 15 years. Um, they've changed the guidelines in April 2023. They've eliminated the accruing of interest. This is big. Uh, it also says when you go to the National Student Loan site that if you have accrued interest from pre prior to that, you're still on the hook for it. But it can make a big difference. And you know what, Kelsey, if you can't make a payment for whatever reason, reach out, talk to them, and you'll get some sort of maybe, you know, relief even on a temporary basis, mm -hmm. because this can impact your credit rating. And then when you go to find a job or, um, you know, get your first apartment, or maybe you want to buy a car, it can come into play when you have a bad credit rating. So let's just say I just graduated and I have like $30,000 in loan debt. Ugh. My plan is to pay yeah. back in the next five years. So what does someone need to do to make that? <laughs> okay, well first, there are lots of calculators and I would look at the income that I have coming in. How much can I realistically afford to still live or to pay it back. And then you plug in the variables and it will tell you how much you have to pay on a monthly basis. I would also consider talking to family members. I know many, many grandparents who have opted out of giving children gifts for birthdays and Christmas and said, instead, I'm gonna help fund your uh, post-secondary education. Uh, obviously getting a job, uh, you know, it all adds up. People think it has to be this great big lump sum, but small amounts can go a long way and the sooner the better. Patty, thanks so much for coming on the show this morning. It's great advice and it's well needed this time of year. Thanks a lot, Kelly. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.